सो हेलो एवरी वन इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी डक्टाइल डिटेलिंग ऑफ आर सी सी स्ट्रक्चर्स विच आर सब्जेक्टेड टू सीजमिक फोर्सेज सो वाट आर दो सीजमिक फोर्सेज वी हैव सीन टिल नाउ एंड वाट आर द डक्टाइल डिटेलिंग वी विल सी इट इंटायर कंटेंट इन दिस वीडियो हैज़ बिन टेकन फ्रॉम आई एस वन थ्री नाइन टू जीरो सो दिस कोड आई हैव जस्ट एक्सेप्टेड सम थ्यूरी पार्ट जस्ट यू हैव टू गो थ्रू दिस सो वाट आर द स्कोप्स स्कोप्स आर जस्ट टू मेक द स्ट्रक्चर मोर एडिकुएट टफनेस एंड डक्टिलिटी so we are going to improve these structures by providing adequate toughness and ductility so as to resist the severe earthquake shocks without much collapse and these code become very very important uh, to be adopted in the seismic zone 3 5 4 or 5 similarly the provisions given in code are specifically to for the monolithic reinforced uh, concrete constructions not the precast one or pre stress concrete in the, in the, in such constructions we have to see differently so let us start what are the basic uh, terminologies so first of all basic one cross tie what is a cross tie cross tie looks like this it's a reinforced uh, look it look it's like a stir up element which is made like this 135 degree hook this is the 135 degree 135 degree is this 135 degree theek hai and then with a 10 uh, diameter extension now what is the diameter 10 phi 10 phi so it's a continuous bar having 135 degree hook with a 10 diameter extension 10 diameter means 10 phi extension but not less than 75 mm at each end means this length must be equal to 75 mm okay at each end hooks so in so hooks shall engage peripheral longitudinal bars so when we are going to provide some longitudinal bars like here and this uh, this is the bar here one bar and two bar we will see it in detail in the coming slides so this will uh, uh, hooks will pass through like this then comes curvature ductility if the ratio of curvature at ultimate strength and the at the first yield of uh, first yield of tension steel so then as we move forward hoop hoop is like uh, it's a hoop is like uh, it's a closed stir up just like you have seen transverse in in that for providing transverse reinforcement we have to provide a closed the stir up so stir up may look like this so it's also stir up which is a closed stir up theek hai but what happen there is also again 135 degree hook and one more 35 degree hook with 10 diameter extension but not less than 75 mm at each end that is embedded in the so this is the u stir up this is like a hoop and this hook can be made by two methods that we will see in the later also it may also be made by it can be like this also or it can be made by u stir up one u stir up you one u stir up i have taken like this and this is a continuous u stir up okay and another cross tie there are two method one method is this another method is this by using do both these methods we can make hoop with 135 degree and we can engage uh, the lateral reinforcement through this okay then comes lateral force resisting system we have seen it in the last video shear wall you can study it there then cell concrete space frame we all have seen it moment resisting frame so now let us come to the flexural member in the flexural member means what those members which are the uh, meant for carrying uh, bending moments or for uh, specifically beams so in these are the condition you can read it one by one what are the factored axial stress what should be the width to depth ratio width and these are the special directions which we have to follow for the design requirements of flexural members uh, specifically you just have to see that the positive steel that we provide it should not be less than half of the negative steel reinforcement this uh, one is very very important 
the positive steel at a joint face must be at least equal to half of the negative steel at that face what is positive steel negative steel uh, the steel which is provided to resist positive moment and negative bending moment then comes uh, the flexural uh, member here we just we can see and at least equal to one fourth of the maximum negative moment. okay we have seen it it comes on now in the when we uh, when a beam comes near a column this is a column and this is a beam okay both are going to meet each other and there is a formation of joint here so at joint we provide some development length um, some development length to the negative steel and positive steel reinforcement so what is the development length development length is this ld ld is development length in tension so this length should be extra added with 10 times diameter of the bar if diameter of the bar is db then the extra 10 times the diameter of bar should be added to development length so beyond the so, the, so as to make a good anchorage length so this is the anchorage length anchorage length is ld plus 10 times diameter of the bar beyond the inner face of the column equal to the development length in tension plus 10 times the bar diameter okay so this is the uh, from uh, what is the anchorage of beam bars in an external joints so this is the specification you have to just keep in mind and then comes the how to be splice how to be splice uh, the two uh, two steel reinforcement uh, in the flexural member so this type of splicing is called lap splicing lap means ki overlap lap means in the lap good so ek tarike se dono uh, dono hi steel bars ek dusre se meet kar rahe hain so there are some conditions which we have to keep in mind that one of the condition is this that the extra the lap length shall not be less than the bar development length this is the length aisa nahi ki jo bar development length hai usse kam duri mein itna to kam se kam provide lap length karna hi hoga itne duri mein do bars to hone hi hai upar se we have to see some extra some extra steel reinforcement is provided extra meaning to see that a spacing should not exceed 150 mm this is another condition most important condition and then you can also see some more condition within a distance of 2d these three but these two condition are very very important if we want to make a lap splice in the beam why do we provide lap splice because if we, at some point we have to uh, sometimes the um, length of the beam is very very large and the steel reinforcement is of not of the required length so we splice the length of the reinforcement at some point so at that at such positions we have to keep these uh, um, suggestions in mind and take uh, precaution, precaution earlier and then we have come to the point of wave reinforcement wave reinforcement is also called transverse reinforcement and here we provide uh, hooks stir up hoops and cr cross tie so just we have seen it key how do we provide it the first method is this second method is this in the first method there is one rectangular hoop like this this is the hoop this is called hoop with 135 degree 10 uh, 10 diameter bar of length not less than 75 mm second method is this what do you do in the second method you take one u stir up and another cross tie okay and both of these combine together and make the successful wave reinforcement all right and then uh, as you move forward flexural member uh, sometimes uh, we see that ki these all you can read it in detail okay now we come to columns and the frame member subjected to bending and axial moment there are some uh, members specifically which are eccentrically loaded like the columns columns mein kya hoti hai bending hoti hai jaise ye columns hai meri to fir kya hota hai idhar se koi jo ye jo agar ye part hai aur ye meri column hai to ho sakta hai idhar se beam ho to ye beam kya kar sakti hai apni load is pe lagti hai ye apni bending moment hota hai aur yahan pe axial load hota hai to p axial load bhi hai aur bending moment bhi hai to dono ke dono columns pe kisi kisi points pe apply hote hain to in those conditions what do we have to provide so these things are the condition just you have to read it 
फॉर द डक्टाइल डिटेलिंग एंड देन कम्स लॉन्गिट्यूटनल रिन्फोर्समेंट तो इसमें क्या क्या कंडीशन है जैसे कि आप देख सकते हैं कि लैप स्प्लाइसिस हाउ डू बी प्रोवाइड द सेम कंडीशन इट्स वुड नॉट बी इट्स वुड बी प्रोपोज एज टेंशन स्प्लाइस एंड हुप्स सेल बी प्रोवाइडेड ओवर द एंटायर स्प्लाइस लेंथ एट स्पेसिंग नॉट एक्सीडिंग वन फिफ्टी एम सेंटर टू सेंटर ओके एंड इन इफ इन केस इन सदन कंडीशन एरिया ऑफ कॉलम एक्सटेंडिंग मोर हंड्रेड मोर देन हंड्रेड एम एम बियॉन्ड द कन्फाइंड कोर लाइक इन दिस फिगर इन दिस फिगर दिस वॉज द कन्फाइंड कोर ओके बट ड्यू टू सम आर्किटेक्चरल कंडीशन द सम एक्स्ट्रा एक्स्ट्रा कन्फाइनमेंट इज रिक्वायर्ड दिस हंड्रेड एम एम हेयर एंड हंड्रेड एम एम हेयर सो सम मिनिमम लॉन्गिट्यूटनल एंड ट्रांसफर स्टील इन्फोर्समेंट हैज टू बी प्रोवाइडेड हेयर ऑल्सो फॉलोइंग द प्रोविजन ऑफ आई एस फोर फाइव सिक्स टू थाउजेंड सो एंड देन यू कम टू दी नेक्स्ट पार्ट यू कैन जस्ट सी इट गो थ्रू इट वाट आर द ट्रांसफर्स इन इन्फोर्समेंट हाउ डू वी प्रोवाइड इट जस्ट लाइक समटाइम्स वी मेक वन क्रॉस टाई हेयर अनदर क्रॉस टाई लाइक हेयर एंड वन मोर क्रॉस टाई लाइक हेयर सच कंडीशन सच सच ट्रांसफर्स इन इन्फोर्समेंट कैन बी डन इन डिफरेंट डिफरेंट मैनर्स एंड यू कैन सी ऑल दिस पिक्चर्स दिस इज गिवेन एयर then comes a special confining reinforcement you just read it what is this a special confining reinforcement this is the reinforcement extra bab reinforcement that is provided uh, in a, in the in a zone which is very very susceptible to uh, shear forces where we have a, a doubt where we can doubt the shear strength uh, it specifically happens at the joints like this is the columns this is a column okay and these are the beams these are the beams so this region this region uh, let me take another color this region this region and again this region this region these all regions are very very susceptible to the shear forces because when the earthquake will come and the most difficult most critical region will be this to crack first most critical region will be this because the base shear first of all these sections will be sheared out and these sections will cut out so the uh, these sections has to be provided extra reinforcement a special confining reinforcement over a length of l not that's what this is l not is given here you can just see it very clearly in the diagram theek hai l not dekh lijiye ye raha l not over extra length l not l not l not in the both direction in the both direction each at each joint face towards mid span and on either side either side of any section matlab both side where flexural yielding may occur under the effect of earthquake force so ye bahut important hai ye confining reinforce so ye l not should not be less than kya kya hai pehla condition ye hai dusra ye hai teesra ye hai in teenon mein se jo bhi kam se kam minimum value hai utna to minimum hum lete hain aur fir hum special confining reinforcement ke jo bhi rules hain hum unhe follow karte hain then we can say that our columns and joint are becoming ductile following the ductile detailing provisions given as uh, given as per in the codes similar is these foundations also we provide a special confining reinforcement here okay so such things you can read go through it shear walls is also given and you can go on reading a little bit more and then you will understand in it very nicely these are simple uh, some of the provisions given in the code so okay hope you must have understood the earthquake resistant design philosophy very well so we will surely meet again in the next videos of next units